The second major action step in Module 5 is to enter your results data as you complete your lesson plans and gather student outcome data and other activities throughout the school year. Much like the use of time data, we've made this process as easy as possible for you to do by clicking on the pencil icon first in Module 5, Step B4. Clicking there will take you to this page where you'll see the three types of student results data that you'll be collecting and entering for your results plan report. Data related to your student outcome goals, data connected to your student standards if you decide to collect data on standards, and any data correlated to your lesson plans by lesson plan title, which in this example is the lesson entitled Attendance is Important. So let's start at the top. Opening the Student Outcome Goal tab shows you the text of each of your SMART goals, your baseline and target data, which you entered earlier, and a place to enter your actual data. In this example, the baseline data was five ninth graders missing more than 10 days per semester. Your target data or goal was to reduce that number from five to four students, and your actual data ended up actually being higher than your baseline or your target at seven students. This is a realistic example because your actual data doesn't always improve for a variety of reasons. And though that can be troubling at first, remember that not reaching your target is going to happen frequently and still is a great opportunity to ask your principal or administrative team, even your advisory council members if you're brave enough, what they believe could or should be done differently next time in order to improve the numbers. Administrators and advisory council members actually like to be involved in this manner. So seize on the opportunity to lean on them. When you're done entering your data for each of your SMART goals, click on this section is complete. If you used student standards, open up the student standards tab and you'll see the key student standards you identified in this table, plus your baseline data and a place to enter your actual data or follow-up data on the right-hand side. Now, if you used our student success needs assessment, note that any of the mindsets and behaviors student standards that you targeted are correlated to the results of that assessment. So it's very easy to enter those results in the follow-up column. Once again, be sure to mark this section complete and close it so you can move to the last section of data to enter the results of any of your lesson plans correlated to your SMART goals. A drop-down box will be provided for each of your lesson plans. In this example, we just have one titled Attendance is Important. And when we open the box, we see that it has a place to enter the results of our pre and post assessment results for just this lesson, here and here and another place below it to enter your actual student participation data in the right-hand column. Enter all of this data for each of your lessons, then mark this section complete, and you are done entering results data. Since you will be gathering and collecting this data at various points throughout the school year, simply come back to the results button and enter the data as you get it. What's really nice is that all of the data you enter here in the results page will roll up into a very nice looking results plan report that you can share as an end of the school year report or use it the following fall when you have your annual administrator conference. You can also share it with your advisory council members. We feel the results plan report is a great way to not only share some of the great work you do as a school counseling program using actual student data, but it can also serve as a powerful advocacy tool. Remember, your results plan report works well even if your results are not as good as you'd like. This is where the report becomes a tool for asking others what to do differently in the future. You can actually build support for your counseling program by asking others, like your principal or your advisory council members, for input on what could be done differently in the future to better reach your goals or positively move the data. In this way, the results plan report becomes a very effective advocacy tool.